From the drop-down in the upper right corner, there's an option called Ad Hoc SVG in the RT Graphic web part. What this does is it launches, well, it launches the same RT Graphic, but with a couple of new features. First of all, you have a start time and end time you can now apply, and there's some zooming that you can do. So let me show you an example of this. Here's my RT Graphic web part. This is it right there. And uh, now in this case, I've already got an RT time range on this display, but let's pretend that we didn't have one on this display. There would really be no way for me to change the start time and end time of this display. So what I can do is do a right click, do an ad hoc SVG. As you can see, the ad hoc SVG, it opens up its own window. Now that right there is really kind of a nice benefit because since it's on its own window, you can uh, increase the size. You can change it to any size you want. That might be a little more useful. And then you can also change the interval of time. So I'll go with yesterday plus 7 hours to yesterday plus 15 hours. This is yesterday's day shift. And now what we're seeing, yeah, this is now the day shift. We can see all the numbers have changed. If I scroll backwards, we're going to see these values are changing, going back one shift at a time. So that's an example of an ad hoc SVG. Now, in addition, as I've demonstrated once before, uh, within these trends, you can double-click on those trends to get an ad hoc trend. And you can do the same thing with things like this, uh, this bar graph here. You can do an ad hoc trend and get a trend of that bar graph and look at this in more detail. And, of course, all of these things support the things you'd normally expect to see on a trend. Things like uh, zooming in and, uh, and choosing the, um, the trend cursor there.